In January, we started hearing about a virus spreading rapidly across the globe and eventually here into the United States. That virus is, of course, COVID-19. Over the months, we have learned a lot about it, how it spreads, how to treat it, and now how to live with it. Today, I sat down with the CEO of Cleveland Clinic to learn where we stand in this fight right now. Cleveland Clinic CEO, Dr. Tomislav Mihaljevich is not frightened by this pandemic. He is optimistic and believes we can get through this together. Part of that starts with the hard work of scientists scrambling to find a cure. We have never seen a scientific, scientific effort of this magnitude. Uh, the entire world is collaborating on development of a, a vaccine. But still, he says it will take some time before a viable vaccine is on the market. Thankfully, the death rate is dropping, which he attributes to other advances, advances in how we treat this virus. We use ventilators in a different way. We're using new drugs and a combination of new drugs that are turning to be uh, more uh, effective in a treatment. And we're now learning COVID-19 does not just present itself in a cough or a sneeze. <coughs> Dr. Mihaljevich says we're learning about new symptoms from inflammation of the blood vessels, attacks on the lungs, the kidneys, and a symptom called COVID toes, which causes toes to turn a bluish color. The COVID infection affects an entire body. Even with his optimism, he wants us all to remember the war against this virus will not be fought only in hospitals. We collectively, the entire society, has to take a responsibility for the health of our communities. And the remedies for this complex problem really do start with solid, simple things. Wearing a mask, keeping a social distance, uh, hand hygiene and cough etiquette, Remdesivir, the only FDA-approved drug to treat coronavirus infection. It has to be administered in a hospital through an IV. But now, its maker is testing an inhaled version of that drug. The trial will include 60 healthy people in the U.S. between the ages of 18 and 45. If successful, patients who do not require hospitalization could take remdesivir. The drug's been able to speed up recovery time for seriously ill patients, but it has not yet been proven to improve survival rates. An employee 